<clears throat> all right. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to our young brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, hope for God they're pushing his word and truth, and the sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hope for the God believe with the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Al Shah? All right, and what we want to get into, you know, going to a quick pre camp, all right, and just dealing with how, you know, sanity, okay, in the midst of chaos, all right, and the elect will have sanity in the midst of the chaos that's to come. You see, what we're seeing now is pretty much Jake bugging out, okay, you see doctrines all over, all over the place. And we see that these other camps, congregations, all right, have no earthly clue of really what's going on. And as things really get bad, because, you know, everyone has a mindset. If you're not tapping into prophecy, if you have a mindset like this normalcy going to continue on and on and on, and you just going to, that's why Jake is so engulfed into arguing. If you knew that serious matters was ahead, would you spend your time arguing? Or being prepared, okay? If you knew in, in three months you was gonna get evicted, would you spend time arguing, or would you spend time trying to what? Come up with the money to prevent that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Jake don't believe in the seriousness of the scriptures, and that's why we finna see a lot of Jake bug out. Go ahead. In Revelations chapter three, verse ten. Yep. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Yep. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord said he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation because we kept the word of his patience. And you go into the word keep, okay? It means to keep one in the same state. And the Lord's going to keep us sane and we're going to see everyone else bug out. You see, sanity is going to be very valuable in the time to come. And why are we going to have sanity? Because we kept the word of the, of the most high and the patience, with patience, man, you know? We ain't out here chasing clout and status and fame. No, we here edifying the elect, okay? We're here to be conformed unto your house shop. And in doing those things, we're going to be kept, all right, uh, from the times to come. The Lord's going to keep us sane while everyone else is bugging out. Go ahead. We shall come upon all the world. Yo, we shall come upon all the world. And see, that our temptation is going to be the MOTB, the C hill, okay, in which... Everyone is going to be tried to see if they're going to give in to this man's MOTB, okay? Because he's going to bring chaos to get our people to conform to the MOTB. Go ahead. To try them that dwell upon the earth. To try them that dwell upon the earth. Go ahead. That was it. Yeah, that's all you yeah. So get that, uh, that Isaiah 33 and 16. Thirty-three and six, if you like, you know, cause we bring this out all the time, but we really gonna see, like, damn, you know. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter thirty-three, verse six. Yep. <clears throat> and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Yeah, wisdom and knowledge gonna be the stability of our time. Okay, that's really what's gonna keep us sane, understanding what's going on and why, you know, cause we've been conditioned this whole time over and over repetition 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 so when we see these things all right it's going to be in us to react a certain way the lord gonna have a spirit on us to endure you see we are already being conditioned you know psychologically and then the lord gonna give us a spirit to endure and we're going to have understanding you see people are comfortable when they have understanding like when you see these athletes you know you see how they maneuver like these high level athletes, these superstars? Mm. The reason why they able to maneuver in that type of way is because they have a, they have reached a particular understanding of the game. <laughs> you see, they're so comfortable in pressure situations because they've been able, okay, to reach a certain level of understanding the game. And that's why you see them so comfortable in pressure situations, you know? And that's what the Lord is doing to his men. He's putting us on the level of understanding to where we're going to be able to be comfortable, all right, in high-pressure situations, man. You know? Go ahead. 
and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, and the strength of salvation and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay? And that's our treasure. See, we treasure that we fear you. How about she my old shot? Oh, you gotta be thankful for that. Because if we had no fear, you 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 susceptible to anything. Mm -hmm. You'd be teaching with the hat, you know, talking shit. Okay? Party Passovers, calling on Christ. This this show no fear. But we treasure that we have fear in Yahweh by Shema Shah, and that prevents us from wilding out. Like the fear of the Lord prevents you from wilding out. You hear what I'm saying? I'm about to say, um, once the servants or the subjects don't fear the master of the king, they will start to rebel. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Dude, that's, that's how uh, that's how civil wars start up. That's how, um, you know, uprising of the people start up. Like evil men, evil men, or uh, trying to seduce, you know, seduce the other men. That's how all that stuff, because there's no fear. No fear of the Lord, but that's why he gonna all come and destroy his enemies. Yep. And we treasure the fear of the Lord, man. And to prove that the Lord gonna have a special type of spirit on us, let's get that uh, Job 5 and all. Uh, let's get Job 5 and 20. This is Job chapter 5, verse 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Yeah, in famine, we shall be redeemed from death. So, hey, we're going to go through things, man. But to be redeemed, we need to be brought back. Hey, so we might go into some situation where we're down. Like, we, 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 we're weakened, you know, because we haven't ate. We didn't say, well, he's going to redeem us. But that goes to patience. And that's why the Lord is... Conditioning us to have patience now. Conditioning us to wait now. You know, because, hey, this society is so frantic -y. You know, people want things now. Everybody's in the rush. Everybody want what they want right now. Mm -hmm. You know, but we, we're we being conditioned to have patience, man. Because in time of Jacob's trouble, we're going to have to have patience in certain situations, man. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to, we're going to have to wait on the Lord's favor to kick in. It ain't gonna kick in immediately. Like, we're gonna be tried. We're gonna be tested. The Lord got to see: Do he really believe? Do she really believe? This is what Jacob's trouble is for the elect to see if we really believe. We gotta be tried, okay? And this is what we should be conditioned in congregation, okay? As we go into these times, these are the times we're coming into. We're gonna be tried, okay? See, give it a. Hey, you gimmick Israelites are going to fold like lawn chairs, man. Mm. You know? Because there's going to be some major pressure in the earth, man. And if you've been conditioned to call on Christ, if you've been rebellious and uh, uh, just wilding now, you really don't know what's going on, you don't know what you're a part of, you're going to fold like a lawn chair, man. Instantly, man. Go ahead. And, and war from the power of the sword. Yep. Go ahead. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Yep. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Yeah, it said the war or the sword because it's going to be very violent. Okay? Then the scourge of the tongue because Esau is finna persecute and demonize the ministry, man. Which is going to cause, you know, people, you know, hey, Jake didn't know they're Israelites and claim they're Israelites. Like people, these regular people going to want to do harm, man. But we're going to be preserved from that, man. If Esau got the world to hate Putin, <laughs> you know, niggas didn't know who Putin was, man. <laughs> niggas hate Putin now. Yeah. You know, that was what through his media. What you think he going to do to us, man? Go ahead. Go ahead. And destruction, verse 22, and, the, and destruction, and famine thou shalt laugh. In instruction and famine thou shalt laugh. So if it's a spirit on us to laugh, <laughs> okay, if it's a spirit on us to laugh, we're going to have sanity. Mm. We're going to be good. You see why everyone else is bugging out. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth.
For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Yeah, so we're going to be good. Here it is. We're going to have a peace of mind. And then the beast of the field going to be in peace with us. So we're going to have peace. We're going to be good. We're going to be tried. And then favor is going to kick in. Okay, go ahead. And thou shalt know that... Th Thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. Yep. And thou shalt visit thy habitation. That was it. You know? And that's the point, man. Okay? The Lord is going to make our circumstances good, man, while he's going to bug these people out. And we see Jake bugging out now. You know? So with that, we pray that you brothers and you sisters are edified. Once again, we give all praise on the glory to you. And how will God shame you? How will God shame you? Double honors unto the apostle and the elder G and bless you, rule well, teach well, be a great example towards all the brothers and peace and blessings, salutations, and hope for the next one.